From the WYLN studios in Hazleton, Pennsylvania, WYLN Evening Edition at 530 starts right now. Good evening. It's Wednesday, July 27th, 2016. I'm Ann Gownley. Today, Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump made a stop in Scranton on what might be one of the many visits to the Keystone State, wanting to secure Pennsylvania as a win for Republicans. Many Trump supporters gathered at Lackawanna College Gymnasium to hear Trump's ideas on how he will, quote, make America great again. His vice presidential candidate, Indiana Governor Mike Pence was by his side. U.S. Congressman Lou Barletta from the 17th Congressional District also took the mic to speak in favor of Trump, especially on the issue of immigration. Trump not only spoke about making America great again, but making things better again for taking care of those who will work in the steel and coal industries, which hits home for a lot of Pennsylvanians. Trump was known as a businessman before he became a politician, and being the businessman that he is, Trump spoke about trade with other countries and how he respects what they are doing for themselves, but he wants things to be fair for Americans. Tomorrow on WYLN's Evening Edition, we will have more from Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump, along with Congressman Lou Barletta on their stop in Scranton. Well, authorities have identified the man found in Penn Lake near Whitehaven. He was 37-year-old Edward Shimani of Wilkesbury. Earlier, they'd found David Young dead in the lake as well. They are trying to determine the cause of death, as there's no word of a boating accident. There will be an autopsy on Young today. Shimani's body was found on Tuesday. Penn Lake Park pays Whitehaven for police coverage, as it doesn't have its own force. Penn Lake Park began its vacation community, but but also has permanent residence. To use the lake, you must be a member of the borough's residence association. A man who was fatally shot, another man last year, pleaded guilty yesterday to third-degree murder and will spend up to 20 years in prison. 20-year-old Kahale Braithwaite of Wilkesbury was charged with criminal homicide for the death of 33-year-old Jason Canty. Prosecutors said Canty was shot once in the head by Braithwaite on July 25th of last year. Braithwaite will spend somewhere between 10 to 20 years behind bars in exchange for his plea. Separate charges that Braithwaite had fired a gun into an occupied vehicle were dropped. He had previously pled guilty to shooting at a vehicle that was occupied by five men who attempted to come to the defense of a group member's sister, who Braithwaite was dating and had allegedly assaulted. Braithwaite declined to address the court or comment as he left the courthouse. The Hazleton Area School District will consider closing a middle school or junior high school. Right now, the district has three. Being considered will be closing one and going to two with the start of the 17-18 school year. A committee made up of parents, teachers, school directors, building and district level administrators will be assembled by the school board to consider the idea. Superintendent of Schools Dr. Craig Butler said the idea emerged from budgetary discussions during the last school year. He says the idea would save money, teaching costs, and transportation. Tonight's meeting will take place at Valley Elementary School in Sugarloaf beginning at 7 p.m. Developers planning on a new hotel in Wilkesbury have bought one South Main Street and are closing in on a deal for the other. The two are the old Frank Clark's Jewelers and the former Place One at the Hollywood near the intersection of Northampton Street. The coffee shop who owns the place says it's pretty close to a done deal. Both will be torn down and the hotel and the conference center built on the lot. There is no timetable. Both buildings are about a century old. Both are now vacant. Developers say the hotel will cost about $28 million to build. Former State Senator Majority Leader Bob Mello has written a book. It's called Used, Abused, and Forgotten Bob Mello, a targeted senator. It's being released this week and is all about his rise and fall. Four years ago, the former senator pleaded guilty to conspiracy charges, saying he had no choice after pressure from investigators looking into the alleged use of state Senate staff for political work on his behalf and filing false tax returns in 2008. Mello says it wore him down, but that he still doesn't think he did anything wrong. 
The self-published book sells for $32.95 in hardcover and $13.95 in softcover on the internet. In it, Mello says he thinks he was targeted by the federal government and Attorney General Kathleen Kane, who filed corruption-related charges against him while he was serving his prison sentence. The Kane charges were later dismissed. Mello described federal prison as adult daycare with no programs for inmates to learn skills that they can use upon release. The Wilkes-Barre Area School District has filed a petition asking the Luzerne County Court to overturn a state order that it makes its plans for a new high school. The original order came from the State Office of Open Records. Solicitor Ray Wendelowski filed that petition. It states that making plans and specifications available to anyone increases the risk to the occupants of the building. The district had made the same argument to the Open Records Office. It dismissed them. Kim Borland, an attorney with the group Save Our Schools, requested the information and came public disclosed was required. The district has claimed it can withhold the requested information because the state right to no law has exemptions that allow information to be withheld if it jeopardizes safety and security and discloses proprietary information. The cost of the new high school is projected by the school board at $82 million. Meanwhile, the school board met with SOS for the first time on Monday. Two questions are back on the ballot after County Councilman Bob Schnee changed his mind about nominations for authorities, boards, and commissions. Schnee voted earlier against referendums regarding appointments to county authorities, but after investigating, he changed his mind. The referendum would have asked voters whether to allow people to serve on ABCs who are compensated by the county after disclosing that compensation and getting council's approval. Schnee tried to find people to join those panels and found it, but it was harder than he thought. One of the foster parents who wanted to serve on the Children and Youth Advisory Board, another was a construction manager who wanted to serve on the 44th Airport Board. After Tuesday's vote, the referendum questions will now be on the ballot. The late night TV pitch woman for psychic services, Miss Cleo, died Tuesday of cancer in South Florida. 53-year-old Yuri Harris, known to millions as Miss Cleo, was a cultural touchstone in the 90s and early 2000s. Miss Cleo had a commercials for a psychic reading network, hustling 1-900 telephone readings to those searching for supernatural answers to love or money. The late night advertising staples proved more alluring than astrology for a magic eight ball. The Federal Trade Commission charged Access, who Cleo worked for, and the Psychic Readers Network for illegal business practices and billing people nearly $5 for initial calls. The companies agreed to cancel the $500 million in customer bills in a single case, and Harris was 53 years old. Time now for a first look at our forecast. Another hot and humid day with temperatures reaching 90 degrees. But what can we expect for an upcoming weekend? Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic is in the Weather Center with those details. Joe, how much rain, if any, can we expect this weekend? Well, we're going to be looking at some more uh, showers and thunderstorms developing, but uh, the heat is going to at least come to an end temporarily. We're going to be looking at some cooler temperatures, lower humidity values, and like I said, some showers and thunderstorms. So I hope you got a chance to enjoy the heat because we're going to get at least a little bit of a break from it. All the seven-day forecast coming up in just a few. And Thanks, Joe. Coming up next, we have a chance for you to win a pair of tickets to this year's Hazleton Wine and Beer Festival brought to you by the Hazleton Rotary Club. Plus, ever wonder what it's like to try and look up a menu for a restaurant? Well, two college students have that idea and they've come up with it and they're going to explain it all coming up. More news, weather, and sports is coming your way only on WYLN. Stay tuned. You're watching WYLN News with Ann Gownley, video journalists Mike Lula and Julie Stefanovich, Paula Degnan, Gary Perna, Abby Piskel, and Aaron Harvey. Sports with Eric DiBerardinas and John Eric Poli. And weather with Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic. 
satisfied with your child's education this school year? Well, take a look at what Marion Catholic High School has to offer. Students are challenged academically, spiritually, morally, and physically. Excellent student-teacher ratio and a full array of clubs and activities. 90% of all grads continue on to higher education. A sound investment in your child's future. Affordable tuition and scholarships are available. Log on to our website or call today for a free tour. They come to the front stretch. Look at how wide that is. Green flag waves and we are underway. Here he comes. Pushes out the lead but is immediately challenged. Bring it home. Oh. Coming to the checker, my man. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric, Mr. Slim Ductless Heating and Cooling System. Mr. Slim Systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money-saving technology can save you 25 to 50 percent on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialists, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. A month from now is the annual Hazleton Wine and Beer Festival, and WYLN has a chance for you to win tickets to this event. The Hazleton Rotary Club's Wine and Beer Festival will be held Saturday, August 27th, from, one, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the Hazel Township, Ball Babe Ruth Field. You must be 21 years of age or older to enter. All you have to do is call us at 570-459-1869, extension 1172, and leave your name and phone number, and we will pick those winners at random. Tickets are $20 in advance and $25 at the door for anyone who is interested, and you can contact a Hazleton Rotary Club member. There's also tickets available for designated drivers, and they're $5. But if you want these tickets for free, you can call us right now. And, of course, from everyone here, good luck. Well, coming up next, Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic is back with a full look at our forecast. Plus, find out how two college students from our area are working together to make looking up local restaurant meals online a whole lot easier. All that and more, plus sports with John Eric Poli is coming your way only on WYLN. Stay tuned. It's time to say thank you to our customers. Harry's U Pullet is having a 25th anniversary Customer Appreciation Day celebration. Join us Saturday, July 30th from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Receive 25% off a $100 purchase or more. The first 25 to junk your vehicle at Harry's will receive an additional $25 back on your deal and some great giveaways. And did we mention there's going to be music, fun, and food all day long and a fun Wreck Your Ex competition. So come to Harry's U Pullet in West Hazleton. Junk your vehicle, wreck your ex, and possibly walk away with some great prizes. For over 25 years, Whitetail Preserve Shooting Range, 118 Boulevard Road, Bloomsburg, has provided professionally designed skeet, trap, and sporting clay fields. All stations are handicapped accessible with resident NRA certified shooting instructors on site. There are packages available to fit anyone's budget, restaurant, and catering on site. Our facility is also available for weddings, business meetings, bachelor, and private parties. Call 570-384-2314. News Director at WYLN and being able to volunteer my time and give back to the community in which I work and to those family members of mine who have been struck by cancer, it means so much to give back to the community as a volunteer. Once again, we have to deal with the heat and humidity across northeastern Pennsylvania. We got plenty of sunshine overhead. Uh, didn't have to deal with uh, any precipitation. Overall, a very nice day. Uh, the wind's really practically non-existent, so if you want a little bit of relief from the heat, you're not going to get it in terms of any type of rainfall. You're also not going to get it in terms of any type of wind because it's practically non-existent out there. Got a cool down in our forecast, which you're probably going to enjoy if you don't like this heat and humidity. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. But first, on to the numbers 
for the day and you see how we did out uh, temperature wise we're still very very warm out there 85 degrees but notice those uh, dew point numbers they've been dropping instead of in the 60s to near 70 degrees they're dropping into the 50s which means when you walk outside you don't have quite as much humidity those humidity levels are dropping as well and again we have not seen any precipitation since midnight those winds practically non-existent so temperature wise for the day did get up to 85 so it was very warm but not quite as humid as what we've seen the last couple of days and again it was a uh, fairly mild night last night only dropping down to 66 degrees throughout the commonwealth of the state of pennsylvania 88 Oaks Bay Scranton International Airport, 91 in Williamsport, 89 in Seals Grove, 90 degrees in Allentown, 81 in Bradford, and 88 degrees in Pittsburgh. Winds very, very light to calm, practically non-existent out there, so you really don't got to worry about uh, any of the uh, wind gusts or wind speeds or any of that stuff or precipitation, precipitation free will stay that way as we head through this evening. But what can we expect the next couple of days? A cool down in our forecast. It's going to start to feel a little bit nicer. We'll have a mix of uh, sun and clouds as we head into uh, tomorrow. 83 degrees may have to deal with a shower or thunderstorm. And then as we go into our Friday, you know, may have to deal with some more showers and thunderstorms developing. Much cooler, a little bit more comfortable, 78 degrees. And a weekend overall not looking too bad, a mix of clouds and sunshine. Could be a couple of showers and thunderstorms by the second part of the weekend. Notice only in the mid to upper 70s for daytime high temperatures. Mid to upper 70s as we go into early next week looking pretty nice. And then as we start going into Tuesday and Wednesday, well, we're looking at temperatures in the lower 80s, not looking too bad. Some of those overnight lows, 60s and a little bit cooler dropping down into the upper 50s. Stick around, we'll continue to have a lot more for you coming up after the break. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric, Mr. Slim ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money-saving technology can save you 25 to 50 percent on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialists, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. YLN has strong ties to the community and is committed to important causes like the American Cancer Society and Helping Hand Society telethons. WYLN's commitment to Pennsylvania continues with the broadcast of Hazleton's Fun Fest Parade and the Christmas and St. Patrick's Day Parades in Wilkes-Barre. In the summer, we broadcast the Weatherly and Giants to Spare Hill Climb. And throughout the year, we provide important community services through the broadcast of town meetings, school board meetings, election night coverage, and other community events. WYLN, we're your local network. Are you trying? Are you tired of trying to find restaurant menus online? Well, two local students came up with a way to get over 100 local restaurant menus up online. WYLN's Aaron Harvey has more. Finding your favorite restaurant menu online just got a lot easier. Two local college students came together to develop a website called 570 Menu. The website has over 100 local restaurant menus to view and the best part is you can get your menu on the website for free. The two students behind the website are Frank Baranji, a senior at King's College and co-owner of 570 Menu, and Jake Agnew, a senior at Penn State and developer of 570 Menu. Agnew came up with the idea because he was tired of not being able to find menus online. I got frustrated with how difficult it was to find menus online. And I know for me personally, whenever I decide where I want to go to eat, I have the hardest time deciding what restaurant I want to go to. Even when I get there, I spend 10 minutes deciding on the menu. So I wanted to create something that makes it easy for people to find their favorite restaurant menus online. 
because there's a lot of great restaurants and they have websites and sometimes even their websites are not properly updated with their menus. So I wanted to create something that helps people in northeastern, northeastern Pennsylvania find their favorite restaurant menus online. Agnew and Baranji put a lot of time into this project so far. When we initially launched Five Summer Menu, we had to go around and drive to local restaurants and physically pick up a copy of their menu. Then we had to scan onto the website and that took a very long time. We would go one day to Wilkes-Barre, we'd drive around, we'd go to Scranton, Dallas, and we would spend like an entire day just gathering the menus and scanning to the website. The best part about 570 Menu is it's 100% free. So it's completely free to be on 570 Menu. Uh, there's other services out there that aren't as accurate as ours and um, they're a little just more outdated and it actually costs money to be on a lot of those services. So the point of our website from the beginning was to be completely free and this is to, to really help local mom and pop shop restaurants kind of get their name out there. 570 Menu also gives away gift cards on their social media sites. Yeah, every week we give a different gift card away. It's usually $25. Uh, the first gift card we did was for Grotto Pizza, and that can be used at any of the locations. The next one we did was Rice and Beans in Dallas on Memorial Highway. And the next one that we're doing, it's our third one, we're doing for Our Bar and Nanny Coke. As of right now, 570 Menu does not have any restaurants listed in Hazleton. Business owners, here's how you can get your menu listed. We actually don't have any menus from Hazleton yet. A lot of the reason is just because it's just Jake and I and it's just been hard with work and working full time in school to get every menu in any PA. But being that we're getting a little bit more popular and we're getting a little more recognized, we're going to ask restaurants to send their menu to us. So for all the people in Hazleton, the restaurant owners, um, we would really appreciate if you sent your menu to 570menu at gmail.com. If you want to send your menu to 570menu, you can email them at 570menu at gmail.com or check out their Facebook page at facebook.com slash 570menu. For WILN News, I'm Aaron Harvey. Thank you, Aaron. Coming up next, John Eric Pola is in for Eric T. Berardinas with highlights from the Rail Riders and a look at the upcoming PGA Golf Tournament here on WYLN. Plus, Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacek will have one final look at our forecast. Stay tuned. Were you satisfied with your child's education this school year? Well, take a look at what Marion Catholic High School has to offer. Students are challenged academically, spiritually, morally, and physically. Excellent student-teacher ratio and a full array of clubs and activities. 90% of all grads continue on to higher education. A sound investment in your child's future. Affordable tuition and scholarships are available. Log on to our website or call today for a free tour. If you haven't found the perfect fishing getaway, you haven't been to Captain's Cove. Located on Henderson Harbor in upstate New York, Captain's Cove offers a variety of accommodations to please just about anyone. The motel, also located on the harbor, offers a magnificent view. Enjoy free morning coffee, air-conditioned rooms, cable TV, and HBO. The cottage can accommodate up to eight people with three bedrooms, a complete kitchen, washer-dryer, two full baths, air conditioning, an outside grill, and picnic table. Call us today for rates and information at 1-800-824-FISH. The Rail Riders have seen a lot of action throughout the past two days. Yesterday they played a doubleheader and won both games. Now this afternoon they were back in action against Buffalo. Another game, another great outing by a Rail Rider starter. This time it's Brady Weil. Six strikeouts over seven innings. You can see some of those here. He had zero earned runs in today's win. Bottom three, Ben Gamble slashes one down the line. Mason Williams and Jose Rosario come around to score and make it 2 nothing Rail Riders. In the sixth, some more bad news for the Bison. Jake Cave grounds one to Matt Dominguez, who misfires home. Everyone's safe. Two runs come in, and it would be a three-run six. Scranton Wooksbury with a five-run cushion. Now to the eighth, how about one more for good measure? Tyler Austin, crush job. Left field, solo shot, Rail Riders would win it by a 6-0 final. Also today, major leaguers hit the field early. This afternoon, the Phillies get blown out 11-1 by the Marlins. Nationals lose yesterday, but avenge the loss with a 4-1 victory over the Indians. The Padres blew their game, against, blew their game yesterday 
in extra innings, but they follow up with an 8-4 win at Toronto. Also today, the Tigers and Red Sox battled it out in Fenway Park. Red Sox rallied late to tie this game up, only to lose it in the ninth. Tigers win 4-3. The countdown to Rio is on, and there in this year's Olympics, you'll see something different in boxing. In the Olympics, boxers would always wear headgear, which you can see here in this photo. Now, for the first time since 1980, boxers will be competing without it. Since boxers are ditching the headgear, a gold medal may come down to who has the better cut man in their corner. In years past, the cut man wasn't a big issue because bleeding from the nose or mouth was the only major possibility with headgear on. There are approximately 250 male boxers competing in this year's Olympics. A veteran quarterback hit the open market today, so expect a new signing soon. The Rams have parted ways with Nick Foles after being unable to get anything for the former Eagle via trade. The former Pro Bowler is free to sign with any team, and he is expected to gain some interest as a potential backup. He could also be used as leverage by the Jets to try and get their quarterback, Ryan Fitzpatrick, to end his holdout. Due to the Olympics, last year, the last major of the year for golf is set to begin tomorrow as opposed to later in August. This year's PGA tournament will be held at Boston's Royal Golf Course in New Jersey. The last time the PGA was held there, it was Phil Mickelson who took home the championship. Mickelson is coming off one of the best performances in golf history when he finished second at the British Open earlier this month. All eyes will be on the 46-year-old in this tournament, along with other guys like Jordan Spieth, Rory McIlroy, and Jason Day, just to name a few. That's all for sports. Stay tuned up next. Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbajic is back with another look at our forecast. They come to the front stretch. Look at how wide that is. Green flag waves and we are underway. Here he comes. Pushes out the lead, but it's immediately challenged. Bring it home. It's time to say thank you to our customers. Harry's U Pullet is having a 25th anniversary Customer Appreciation Day celebration. Join us Saturday, July 30th from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Receive 25% off a $100 purchase or more. The first 25 to junk your vehicle at Harry's will receive an additional $25 back on your deal and some great giveaways. And did we mention there's going to be music, fun, and food all day long and a fun Wreck Your X competition. So come to Harry's U Pullet in West Stapleton, junk your vehicle, wreck your X, and possibly walk away with some great prizes. Watch off the beaten path on WYLN TV 35 and discover the Pennsylvania you never knew existed. Well, we're in the 80s still as we head into tomorrow. Maybe a shower or thunderstorm. Then after that, it cools down a little bit. About 78 degrees for our Friday. Some showers and storms can't be ruled out. Weekend at this point, not shaping up to be too bad. Uh, 80s looking like we'll have a lot of sunshine mixed with some clouds for Saturday, Sunday. Some showers and thunderstorms can't rule that out. Only in the 70s. So that's not too bad. It's not too bad on Monday either. We'll be looking at temperatures again in the uh, 70s, mid to upper 70s, and then back up into the 80s for Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. And then uh, those overnight lows, generally in the 50s to uh, lower. 60, so overall doesn't look too bad, but we're not going to have to deal with that excessive heat that we have been dealing with. Well, at least we have one day out of the week, because yesterday, yeah. today's the first day we get to see Saturday with just the partly sunny. Yeah, we'll keep our fingers crossed. It stays that way. Yeah, well, it does. You see how weather changes, changes all the time, all time so yeah. we'll keep our fingers yeah. crossed that that doesn't Hoping happen. Hoping for Sunday, too, because I'll be at Pocono for the big race this weekend. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Hopefully the rain holds out. Are you excited so, for it? Oh, I can't wait. It should be fun. Do you have any predictions or... <sighs> I don't know. I, I like to see Jeff Gordon that he's filling in for Dale Earnhardt Jr. That'd be pretty cool, but 
I don't know. We'll, we'll yeah, the see. big names. I usually like to see. I don't really watch NASCAR a lot, but any sport, the underdog. Exactly. So, so we'll see what happens. But we'll hopefully that rain on Sunday yeah, will hold out. Yeah, hold off. Yep. We'll, we'll have it during the week since there's events this weekend, and we'll just deal with it that way. But it is definitely a lot cooler. Mm -hmm. That's all that matters. Take that yeah, seat. Turn the air conditioner break, off. Yeah. Take some heat off of your <laughs> electric bill there, and uh, maybe we'll just take in those fifties. Because 50s in the summer are nice, 50s. At night, sure. We'll deal That's with them. It's not bad in the, after a hot, humid day. Yeah. No? Feels good. Yeah. Felt good this morning. It did. Yeah. It did. Have a good night, everyone.